Hi everybody, welcome back to the Northwoods Family Channel. Some of the adventures we've shared with our followers have resulted in some interest being generated from people who want to take their UTVs out for their very first camping trip. So we wanted to share some tips that we thought of that might help you out if you're one of those folks. So our first tip, our first piece of advice is keep things simple. You're gonna realize very quickly how fast your cargo space fills up on your UTV versus your car or your truck. So, you know, don't overdo it, especially on the first time. Now for us, this specifically means keeping the food prep really simple. We'll try to make pre-made meals at home that we then vacuum seal. We'll use really simple ingredients if we feel like cooking, or we'll use some pre-made just add water type meals like these packs from Bear Creek. Now, we're not sponsored by Bear Creek. Call us, Bear Creek, call us. We just really like their stuff. It's delicious, it's super easy to make. Did I mention it's delicious? I mean, you just add water and the stuff is awesome. So we use quite a few of these. There's other brands out there too, but these Bear Creek ones, our family really likes. We also use backpacking style cooking gear. So we have plates and pots and cups and things like that that all nest together. So basically then all of our cookware, all of our kitchenware, save for a few utensils and a couple other items can basically pack into a pot this big. It gives us a lot of versatility and it helps us save space. Now, if cooking is your thing, by all means, go all out. Just understand that you're gonna have to make some sacrifices elsewhere because you just don't have as much storage space in your side by side. Our second tip is dress for the weather. All of the weather. Well, all of it that's reasonable at least. Even if there's not rain in the forecast, at least if you live around here in the Midwest, maybe it's different in the desert, we can still get rain out of nowhere. So, you know, we definitely make sure that we have rain gear along. And we also have some warmer clothing as well, even if we're not planning on being out late because the temperatures can drop once the sun goes down and you never know, it's happened to us a couple times where we get caught out for whatever reason, we're riding later than we anticipated, we're coming back to camp after dark. And honestly, a couple times we haven't had the warmer clothing that we wish we would have had. And it was a little uncomfortable making our way back. Okay, our third tip for your first UTV camping trip is be sure to pack your machine ahead of time in advance of your trip. Don't try to do it the first time, the morning of, you'll never get out of the house. These things are a little bit harder to pack than you would think. There's not as much room as you would probably like. So pack it a few days ahead of time and then go take it for a quick spin around the neighborhood. Make sure everything is strapped down right. See how the machine rides, how it balances and things like that. A heavier machine is not going to perform the same. So if you have this thing packed, it's gonna be a little top heavier. You may have to adjust your suspension or your shocks. Just take it easy until you really learn how the machine handles. And that brings us to our fourth tip, which is let your wife drive. Now, this came as a tip that I had to include from my wife and I get it, all right? Guys, don't worry. You have seat belts on your machine. It'll be fine. I'm kidding, ladies. Please don't unsubscribe. My wife will kill me. All right. Why is that important, right? This has got to be fun for the whole family. All of the couples we ride with, the ladies love driving too. It's badass. Who doesn't like blasting through the mud? It's kind of nice now and then to actually sit back and just relax and enjoy the scenery. The other thing we do with our kids is we try to rotate them up to the front seat now and then too. Especially the little ones, it's a little bit easier for them to see up front. They just have a good time. My son likes working the turn signals and looking at the map. So it just keeps things a little bit more interesting for them. And remember, this is all about the family trying to have a good time together. So, you know, if you divide things up a little bit so everybody gets a little piece of the action, people are gonna wanna be going on these trips more often. It's gonna be more than, oh, this is something dad is dragging us along on, right? We want everybody to be excited about going along. And that's what happens with our family when we start talking about taking our UTV somewhere for the weekend. And that brings us to our fifth and final tip when you're taking your family out UTV camping for the very first time, when you're out there riding all day, make sure you plan some time for some breaks. Our kids love to stop and play at playgrounds. So we'll make sure that if we see a playground a couple times throughout the day, we'll stop, we'll let them play for 20 minutes. It gets them out of the seat, gets them something to look forward to, and it lets them burn off some of their energy. I like to take a break every now and then and do a little fishing. So we'll look for a picnic spot alongside a lake or a stream. I'll frequently bring along a collapsible fishing rod and a couple lures, and that way I have a chance to throw for some bass or some trout during our lunch break. Maybe instead of going back at the end of a long day of riding to the campsite where your wife has to cook and clean and do all that stuff, you know what? 
maybe it'd be a great time to stop at the local supper club or the local pub for some dinner and a drink before you go back. Whatever you decide to do, we really recommend that you plan a little bit of time along the way where you can just stop and take things in. There'll be surprises and cool things to see and cool things to do that you probably didn't know about until you actually get there. And having a little extra time planned into your day so you can take advantage of those things really makes the journey that much more exciting. And that's what it's all about. It's about the journey, not the destination. Because otherwise we'd be taking our car. We're taking our side by side because it gives us the opportunity to see things and do things that we normally wouldn't be able to do. So those are our five tips for your first trip UTV camping. Let us know what you think. If you've been UTV camping before, let us know if you'd add any other tips or any other things that work for you. We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.